Greetings and welcome to City Skylines. In the previous episode, we thank you. In the previous episode, we built our railway network, which is actually working really well. I've been watching it around and keeping an eye on things, and we have a lot of people using it. Um, this one's quite popular, which is useful. I'm not sure about the one over here though. Yeah, let's got people on it. Look, people using it quite nicely. We have the one over here, which is actually really popular. I mean, look at look at the bus station that's feeding it. Yeah. Um, what I have done in the meantime is I have actually got. Can I have my control back, please? Thank you. I have gone to like this bus line here, and I've increased the number of buses to twelve. But I'm looking at that station. I'm thinking twelve is probably isn't enough. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll make you fifteen then. There we go. More buses to help out that line. That line is an important line. It's actually putting people into the uh, different areas from the train station, so it's a uh, fairly important one to have, have, have operational. Okay, uh, what I've also done is, not over here, it's actually over in the industrial area, here we are. I built a second roundabout and I made a loop around these. No reason really at all for doing that, I just felt like it, it, I wanted to put it in there and see if we could encourage more vehicles to come up, but it hasn't really had an effect on that, so uh, yeah. I was wondering why we're getting so few vehicles um, using this as an export point, and I wasn't sure. So I took a look, and it turns out, looking at the the export road, which they would have been using instead of the line, almost nothing gets exported. Almost all of the trucks which are using this road here, all of this lot, almost all of them are actually going into our uh, commercial area. So a lot of these trucks on the road, which are causing congestion, are... Uh, Heading up to our commercial district, and a lot of the ones coming back are coming back from the commercial district, and uh, that's what's causing a lot of this, tra lot of this traffic here. Now, it's not really congestion because it's actually flowing quite well, especially since I did make a modification to this road, which apparently you have traffic lights. Why do you have traffic lights? No, traffic lights are a no for you. No. Um. So yeah, uh, this area I've changed. This was a two-lane two-way road going both ways around and I've changed it so these are three-lane two-way all the way up to here and when it hits here it changes into a three-lane one-way for this part so the reason for that is that these were causing some major congestion trying to get out of here and going that way so I changed it so they can't go that way or they can go that way but it still didn't really ease the congestion overall because so many vehicles were coming up this road and turning in here, causing blockages, and then suddenly the blockage will get released, and then there'll be some of the vehicles and it'll jam this one up. And then this one was having a similar problem. I think this one actually needs changing so they can't turn left. There's literally no reason for them to ever turn left here when this road's available. And that'll also give two right turns available here. It might be worth it because also I think there's a bus there, and the bus also goes right, I believe. It does. In that case, let's do that. Let's make it so both. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so both lanes turn in the right direction, which is that way. There we go. And uh, that will now make these empty faster because it'll go that way. It'll also send more vehicles to this road, which is just emptying faster in general because it hasn't got much of a congestion issue. Well, we'll see how that works anyway. It'll, it'll have an effect at some point. But either way, there's still a lot of trucks on this road. And I think that traffic light there was actually causing this one to have a gap to get through every so often because look at that mess right now. Hmm. Although I think the best solution here is not to have these trucks on the road at all. Let's temporarily turn these traffic light back on again. You know what, you know, you're not having the problem. You're having the problem, put your traffic light on. And we'll, the goal is to come back and remove this traffic light as soon as we can. And we'll do that by an idea I have. Because I've noticed that all the trucks going out here are going up this road to this area, basically. I figured why not stick a train line, maybe here, off down end here and then a quick road onto the roundabout which they can then then that will remove their need to use the road right well sure we'll find out let's do it uh train station train station train station cargo train station is also what we want uh you are the cargo train terminal put you just there i like how they overlap just enough that you can actually put them literally side by side like that that's actually really really good because you can just do it's actually really, really good because you can just do this straight into their own uh, their own connections, and then you can use the move it tool to tell them not to be complete idiots in the process. Look at that! That's actually it. I didn't even know that was actually an option. That's actually really cool. 
All right, uh, that goes off here, then we'll run down the line, and then we want to drop them off here. So we're going to need a road, because it won't let me do this without a road. Okay, now here's the ads part. I want to pull it off of here, took it up there, under this piece of highway, and into the train station. So to do that, I'm going to want the road to be straight as possible. So I'm going to take this up here, I'm going to place that, and then I'm going to take that across there, then I'm going to remove that. <coughs> And that is just so we can have a place to build the train station. Let's build the train station. There. All right, train station has been built. So the first thing to do is get the road up and running because it's actually a useless thing without a road. Uh, so we want you to come this way and we want you to make a curve to there. Then you can get under that, right? Yes, you can. And then we can make this turn this way. Hmm. Okay, I think we need to change the tool we're using here. Let's pull you, pull you back a little bit to there. Just give you a bit more flexibility to get under the bridge. Switch to this tool, which lets me have the same curve ability. But once I click, I don't have to set a new uh, marking point. Don't we get as close to this one as I can, and have an arc into the road. I'm thinking, do I want it to be in, in and out? No, I want it just be in, in actually. It should be a one-way road then, shouldn't it? Um, one-way road in, then you can come out from this side and see one. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll work. I don't know where to take it out from, though. Let's take it out from there should work. If we can just sneak that one off. That should work. Uh, let's, in that case, let's change this road type to a one-way road really quickly. And single lane? You know what? Make it... No, let's stick with a two-lane. Let's stick with a two-lane. Give them uh, the maximum amount of uh, vehicle space so one can turn, one can go straight around, right? But um, here, we'll need this to be the same as well. The question here is, I don't like two lanes on this part. I actually don't like having two lanes on this part because they'll go down the second lane and then cut in and cause congestion. So I will make that a single lane in a moment once we're uh, past that initial stage right here. I want that connected in there. Actually, that would out really well. I uh, was thinking about bringing that in a bit narrower. Should I bring it a bit shallower? Okay, I like it like that more. Which means bringing you across here and... Ooh, what is that mess? Hmm, pull you back a bit maybe? So I, can, I can always adjust this. I was like, I wonder that, that, that is just horrid, no. You know what, um, I was happy with the original... Uh... There we go. There we go. Ugh, no, not that still. Pull it back a bit more. Pull that in a bit more. There we go. Yeah. We need to get them onto that angle a bit better. Okay, so that gets them on there. Now we need the way to get them off of there. And um, pulling off there, we actually only need the single lane. There's no reason at all for them to exit there with a dual lane, so we can pull them off of, off uh, somewhere else. Can't really pull them off anywhere here. Don't really want to pull them off this early. We could have put, we could just pull them off uh, here, uh, straight out, and use it, and even put them on the roundabout. Uh, not even put them on the roundabout. You know, it would, it would. Where's the bus? Bus stops there, so we can do it. If we pull them off here, you know what? No, the roundabout's there for a reason, right? Let's use the roundabout. Pull that off. Can I pull it off a bit earlier? Hmm. Okay, it might be we have to move this junction a little bit. Pause, and we have to redo this junction, I think. I need, to, I need access to a road here, and they need access to the road as well. So I'm going to get mine one in first. Just boom, there. And then yours was a two-lane, so let's switch over to a two-lane road. You get yours here. And yours needs to go up to there. Like that. Now we need to use a bit of a movie tool to stop it from being really weird. Pull it back as much as we can. There we go. That gives it a little less of a bad slope. And here we'll put your lane restriction back in place. So no left turns. Move your traffic light that got created because traffic lights. Ugh. There we go. That actually looks okay. I wish it wouldn't narrow to a bridge. I wish it would keep the same width though. And now we come back to this one and we're good. Okay, uh, single lane road. Uh, normal build tool, please switch to that build tool. And uh, this one we can cut around here and we can get underneath. 
bring it up to there. We are cutting through the pack, I am aware. Sorry uh, anybody who wanted to build a, a, a theme pack right here, but we uh, can send all the SUVs right past your uh, your, 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 your place of, uh, of fun. Boop. And there we go. And then we want to upgrade this road to stay as a single lane to there, so then they all come in and get out, and they, then they, they can get two lanes when they leave. That should work out, actually. I don't know why I, I paused it for the EU, that off ramp. Never mind. I don't, I don't know why I paused it, but I do know why I paused it. What's that? Two lane planes? Ooh. My little pedestrian walkway sort of thing, but with actual white cars. Um, That made sense, right? That, that, to me, that made sense somehow. Okay. Uh, sorry, these are just narrow roads. I'm sorry, interesting. Okay. Um, Water and power is needed out here. Water and power, water and power, water and water, water and power. There we go. And power, because you are just a little bit away from everything else, aren't you? There you go. All right, and the final step is to connect with the train track then. Um, well, we can just share the train track. That will actually work quite well. So if we take you to there, and then curve you over this way into a nice, slow curve. And then we use the movie tool to make that not horrendous. There we go. That should work fine. There we go. Okay, so that should almost definitely get cargo running on this line pretty quickly. Um, and we have cars using Why do we have cars using it? You mean you have a roundabout? Why we use the damn roundabout for this? I'm going to make a restriction here that says no to any uh, anything that's not a truck or a motor vehicle. So no cars basically allowed on this section of the road here. No cars or buses yeah that'll work and well, there's our first uh, truck coming in perfect so they're already planning to use it and over here do we have well we have more vehicles coming down this road Boop, there we are look at that all right uh, i do need to put a restriction in here though um it's gonna put a little restriction in here uh, roads there needs to be a road with a divider i don't want them um driving up this road oh god that's horrible i don't want to drive this road and using the both sides of it that's a problem do we have a divider road in here there it is there we go i just want to make sure they don't uh, come down this way and then turn in because that causes that's what causes a lot of the congestion use the roundabout if you want to turn around i could put another roundabout here i suppose but anyway uh so we're seeing here trucks coming down are they using this are they Yep. Uh, okay, so some are using it. Definitely, definitely are some using it here. Ba -ba -ba -da, ba -ba -ba -da. I could definitely move that roundabout to here then. Um, and then over here, we we'll hopefully start seeing trucks using this road. And hopefully, this will. Oh, here comes the cargo. First cargo vehicle. Do, 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 do. And every one of these trucks here is not using this road anymore. Now they're still going to be in this road, and they're going to come in large batches, potentially. But it is going to be a situation where they're no longer using this road anymore. They're going to actually use the cargo road, which is actually amazing that they're going to do that. And in theory, if they use the cargo road to get here, the cargo line to get here, they'll use the cargo line to leave. Now it's not guaranteed, of course. They could still, uh, they could still do it with their uh, with the other method. Might you? Oh, congestion. Uh, they could still say drive up here, drop off a package, and go this way back through the town. So it's still a possibility they'll use well these ones here. Basically, are going to keep using this road. There's no two ways about that. They won't go back the other way now. Now that that's cleared up a little bit. Let's let them, give them a bit of time to start using this machine, machine, this building. And uh, once they start using it a lot, we could actually you know we should put another one on the other side, shouldn't we? Can I get a? Another cargo uh, train station over here, maybe? Hmm, it's be a bit iffy this one, wouldn't it? I mean, we could probably t jump over that. Oh, I don't want to go through the station, though. I want to be able to come through and have to go there. It might be beneficial to, I don't say to tunnel the road, but I remember that road was uh, already awkward about how, uh, how we were placing stuff. You know what? We could take a train line off there, bring it straight through. Let's do that. Let's put a train line on both sides. A train track. All right. So if we then pull a train off here as well, boom, 
And then this one cuts under, because that's how we get across this way, is to go under them. Uh, 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 stop bending! Move tool. Straighten that out. No, that's move, move tool. Straighten that out. It's bending in the really weird way. That'll do. On the ground. Right, and then cut across here. And then up you come. Boop, there we go. <clears throat> now we have a train track over here. Everybody should be very, very happy with that. Uh, apart from the people who will see this and go, oh my god, what the hell is that? So we're going to fix that problem. There we go. Alright, so we need a train station over here. And this train station will have a line into that roundabout and a line out for that roundabout. Hey! The benefit of having two roundabouts nearby, right? So give me a road, give me a road with a divider. And pretty much want to go like that. <laughs> Straight between those two, basically. As a, as a bypass road for that, and then don't allow any uh, cars down, just trucks. That actually is what, kind, of what, kind of what I want to do. What we'll do then is when this road's going to be up here, so it's actually going to come up here and then across there and down. So I want it to be quite flat. Um, in line with that, and that's a problem. The hardest part about these sort of things is placing that road down and then getting a train station on that marker that lines up with the track. Look at that. Slope too steep. I know, but it's all come down a bit because uh, we're out of position. Can I, like. Game, game, game. I'd like to, I'd like, I'd like to bulldoze that road. Roads. Bulldoze. Thank you. Okay, let's try it again. Um, set this up here. Run it there. And train station. It's too low and slope's too steep. Now, the slope is too steep. I could alter that with a bit of trainscaping. But I need this road to be two squares higher before we do it, though. Two squares higher. Really? There we go. I thought it was really weird it was doing that. Okay, that there, that there. And then train station would be literally two squares too high. I haven't told you how much I hate the game sometimes. Just sometimes. Sometimes the game is... It's like maybe one square too high. The game is a little bit uh, messing with me right now. I did it there. It's two squares too short. Well, it's one square. It's, that's it. It's actually one square too short. Okay, that is more workable. That's more workable. So not there, but there. Remove that one. Then that one's across there, and then the train station goes on there. And okay, that lines up just enough for us to do that. Okay, now we can use our terrainscaping tool and eat some of this land out. Uh, large tool, heavy tool. Just eat away at this a little bit. We'll make a bit of a cliff here. No deal. No deal. Notice a cliff there, right? Put it there. Give a bit more time for that train track to connect here. Perfect. That is perfectly fine for a cargo train. Don't say anything about it. Delete that, and then let's get the road in place. So we want a one-way road, one-way road, one-way road, one-way, one-way road. You uh, to come out here, here into there. What? 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 Oh, okay. Never mind. I chose tram uh, trolleybus routes. Is that? Yeah, trolleybus. Uh, we want just a one-way road, one-way road, one, 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 one-way road. That one. And it'll go pretty much into there. Ooh. Okay. That's a non-use section right now. Um, so I'm going to allow that for now. And if it starts causing us issues, we'll deal with it later. Uh, and then this side, I want a one-way road in. And it actually doesn't need to be there because it can be a single track anyway. Single track road leaving here to there 
upgrade that as a single track road. There we go. Flip it around because you've reached... Why would you go that way around when that one's phasing in and that one's phasing out? There was no reason to go the other way. And then uh, restrictions on the road to stop cars coming up it. Uh, the problem is we need cars coming here to man the station. We don't need cars coming up it because the... Hmm. Hmm. See, it wasn't a problem up here because the cars can come down there as well. I just want to make sure cars aren't going out of there. So, if we just hear... Ooh. You're new. I don't know about uh, that one. You go away. Uh, ah! No! Stop it! That one. Uh, no cars to leave the area. Alright. If the cars can't leave, that's fine. They can still come into that and then we can put a, I don't know, a walkway across. I mean, I can put a footpath across there. Have you got a footpath on that? You do. I could definitely. Put a footpath across there for workers. Uh, footpath, footpath, footpath. Footpath, footpath, footpath. Where's the footpaths? There they are. And it's a working footpath, so. Can we, like. Oh! Can we, like. Oh! Boop. Boop. And then across there. Boop. And then down there. Well, no, you can't go down there because there's no way. Oh, they can't cross there. Boop. There we go. And then we'll use the move it tool to drop that down to a non stupid height. There we go. Water and power? Water, power. Perfect. Oh, that reminds me. My laws made a good suggestion about this bridge, which I wasn't happy about. About it being too high. And he said, why not use. Why not lower it? And I said, okay. So I can't really lower it because uh, it is at the lowest level. Then, then I said, ah, 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 but, but we do have a movie tool. So we can lower it on the movie tool. Because I wasn't happy about it being so high. Right, that is perfect. Okay, and that side just needs a bit more lowering. That side's perfect. That side needs a bit more lowering means you're you. There we go. And that's a much more reasonable walk away as well. People can walk up that without so much of an issue. All right, unpause. Um, let's look at the train station. Where were we? I've got the train station. I rotate my camera around over here. All right, you are now here and you're connected to the line. You can't do anything because there's no station at the other end. So let's put a station at the other end. Train stations. Do, 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 do. Boom. And connect you. Boom. There. Perfect. Now there we go. So that should get this cargo station working quite well. And this cargo station should hopefully then take some of the workload as well. Uh, we need to do the same thing that needs to have a no crossover road putting in here, doesn't it? Uh, road type. Single. We have a restricted barrier down the middle. You. They're just there. And then also you probably need a water pipe. Water pipe! You. There we go. And that you know, that's that one has immediately got more traffic on it. Perfect. It is a th it's theoretical that this train station could feed this train station. No, it can't actually. That's good. I didn't want it to. I want to make sure they use the appropriate train station for the appropriate good. Right. So now those are running. Let's get rid of these traffic lights and see if that helps. Because we don't want traffic lights if we can help them. There, there we go. And we'll come back to that world in just one moment to see if it's actually playing nice. But this train station is actually getting quick. Oop, here comes the first carriage. Doop, doop. There we go. And they can run around there, hit this roundabout and go wherever the hell they like. Back down that road or down this road here, up to them. I might put a roundabout up here if it comes very busy. Same here. I might put a roundabout here if it gets very busy, but uh, I don't see it being a problem right now. I mean, I could have removed these two roundabouts and just move them close to these two stations, which would make more sense if uh, if they're going to get busier than that station would, because that's our import export station. And we'll see how that works out. 
Okay, uh, you are doing quite well. So let's go check out the other side of the station. You. Immediately cast packing on the road. <laughs> oh. Oh, of course there is. Because I let them drive down here. So they can park here. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to stop them doing that. If they want to use the uh, the walkway and park there, that's fine by me. But, yeah, the, 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 I mean, they could have parked over here, right? <laughs> oh, I need to set a car park up, basically, don't I? And the only reason this road's got a restriction on the end for cars... Uh, I did put a restriction in place, right? Because I can't leave. Yeah. The only reason that has a restriction on the end for cars is because I don't want them using that road instead of this road. Because technically that is a shorter road. All right, and that cargo station is working really nice. So I need to wait for a cargo train to come in. Oh, there comes one. It's only a half load, but it'll give us an idea of how well it'll uh, interact with this road here. Do 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 do. And here they go. Boop 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 boop. And they're interacting really nicely with that road. Okay. They're not causing any major congestion and they come out of here really smoothly. All right, and over this side, we have a very empty vehicle coming back in. We should drop off maybe two cars. One, oh, just the one car. But it goes back, oh, that's better. Okay, that's a, that's a much better cargo. That's a much better cargo. Doo -doo, doo -doo. This should actually dump off from uh, quite a few vehicles this time around. There we go. It's not a full load, but it. Uh, yeah, okay, that's what I was expecting to happen. Sort of more stopping and starting. And we should get more uh, heavy goods vehicles coming up here now. Doing this loop and then heading down this road. That is perfect for us. That's what I want to see. Excellent. Okay, that's working well. Now, how is it dealing with the truck road over here, though? Uh, we still have quite a few trucks over here going up this road. Which is unfortunate. I was hoping that they would... Uh, I was hoping they would spend... It would be a lot less, not just a few less... I mean, I could put a restriction in place to stop them from doing that, but I don't really want to. And that would be as simple as putting a blockage on this road, saying no trucks up this road. But then all that happens is they're going to go down this road anyway, so it just it wouldn't work unless I blocked every route. It's not worth the hassle. And this one doesn't give much use. This is our import export button. All right, I think we're good on that. I think we need to we've evaluated that. Let's have a look at the traffic route right now. Okay, so it still annoys me that the game considers these to be bad roads, even though they're busy, not congested. It's like this one here. This one, okay, this one has a bit of congestion, but it's minor. They are moving. So I would have flagged it in orange, not red, but it's a busy road as well. Um, look at this road. This road's red. It's like, warning, warning, bad road, bad road. Ah! But it's like there's no vehicles on it. It's just because two roads join and the both roads are busy. Um, in fact, it's red because it's busy. It's, you can't see where you have actual actual congestion because of it. It hides actual congestion. Do, 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 Oop, you are empty. Perfect. Let's get rid of you. And because we are removing a building, let's stick a crematorium. Oh, we have a crematorium down there. Uh, we have need for more crematoriums. Yeah, we have, we have need for more. Alright. So, how are we doing on other stuff? Let's put quick evaluation, super early. Garbage issues. Anybody get garbage issues? Yes, we have garbage issues. Uh, garbage processing is in the green, but I'm guessing it's a vehicle count that's the issue. Um, let's have a look. You? 2 of 16, 2 and 8. Okay, so it's not actually a vehicle issue. It's just you guys uh, getting out there mostly, I'm guessing. So these are far away buildings. Uh, yeah, so everywhere that's close to one of these is fine. We have, we have plenty of buildings. Basically, we need another one of these over this side some, at some point. So that you can uh, you can use it at your end. That's fine, though. No problem. Boop, 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 boop. We'll have the vehicles are white and the, and the purple ones are the ones you're looking at. Uh, education, we are going good on elementary, we are okay on high schools, we are okay on universities, we have virtually nothing in the public library side of things. Probably because we only have one public library, <laughs> that will probably do it, yeah. Um, 
Well, we could put another public library down somewhere. It wouldn't be the end of the world, would it? Public library? Uh, what's the alternative of public library? High school? Elementary school? Go to the public library. So there is an alternative to the public library. Okay. Well, that's not an end of the world thing. We can put that over here. These big roads are all good right now. Ah, can't move my cursor. Move. Let me move. There we go. Um, where to put it? I mean, I'd love to put it right here, but it's got so many buildings and a path there as well. Look at that. A capital there because the Kimtorium, a capital there because the fire stations. Could put it up here on the main road. That'd take us so many buildings, but it would be a nice place to put it. You know what? You have nice buildings, so we are going to remove them. I put a library there. And immediately our capacity is up. And all the houses in the area is like, yeah, library! And the other few people got knocked out of the houses like, no, but I like my house. I like how the public library users is going down. So we have a public library. Nah, I don't want to use library anymore. There we go, back up again. I think we might have destroyed the houses of the, like, the three people that actually use the uh, library. Alright, uh, we do need to upgrade some houses by using different mechanisms. We don't really have much on houses. Let's look at the land value. Which was the land value? That one? Yeah, so you can see most of it's doing okay. Um, this area up here does need some attention though. Okay. Um, what are they short on? They're pretty much good on everything they need. Elder care. Hmm. Do you know we had uh, an elder care buildings? Right. Education. You have to put library right there. You can you can you can figure that out, mate. You can figure that out. Uh, da, 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 da. You're good. Garbage isn't an issue. Water and power. Ooh, power could be a bit of an issue soon though. All right. Fire safety. You've got a fire station there. Average noise pollution. Train station is loud, but it, it's fine. Don't worry about it. As long as you don't live on one of them, you're good. Right, right, right. That for noise pollution. Luckily, that's the commercial district and not the housing, but yeah, yeah. Bit noisy over here, though. <laughs> and I call BS on that. They don't. They make noise, but not that much noise. Crime rate up here is fine. Um, jails are, ooh, jails are a bit, probably build an actual jail at some point then, just to help out with that. Uh, transit no population, what's, what's the black ones? Mostly seniors. Okay. Uh, and then we have the outside connections, nope. Uh, land value is the one we're trying to investigate, we can just do that I suppose. <laughs> That's a shop. I don't want a house. There we go. Okay. We should tell you what the issue was here, but that, there we go. Increase the value of the land to allow the building to be packed and plows are doing good. We could be, I suppose we could. Hmm. We could. We could do something about that. Leisure. Hmm. Leisure. Leisure. Terrain. Heating. We don't really do heating in, the, in this game. I've never really found the benefit of it. Uh, tourism? No, it's not tourism this way. Tours? <gasps> we could do tour buses. Look at look at that. The place that people want to go. Oh, that's a nice addition. That map wasn't there before, so we could definitely set up like a tour bus system to go through our amazing city, which basically takes us nowhere over the place I drop down trees manually. <laughs> it's actually true. The places that it's like, go here! The place that I put down trees. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Um, okay, anyway, let's see, where are you? Your tourism, you are pack maintenance, you are industrial areas, we don't have any of those. Post offices, ooh, we haven't done post offices yet. We should definitely look at post offices. But overall, I'm seeing is we just need to increase our land volume. Now, here's a question. I said a long while ago that we won't do any, uh, <coughs> we won't put down any of these packs, these pre mill packs. Because they're we we're doing it for actual custom packs like uh, like the Milo's garden over here. Now, 
RJ does have a pack over here. There's a gap here though. I could definitely put another pack in. So I'm going to put a pack here. This will really help out. I'm going to do it very quickly now while we're talking. Uh, pack area, pack area, pack area. But when it comes to other areas, it's just a small pack, might look at it. When it comes to the other areas around, are we allowed to build the uh, the other buildings, the the plazas and stuff? Because they have the same effect as parks, really, to increase the local um, the local value, land value. But they're not parks, but they also do the same job as a park. So the question is, am I allowed to build them, or do I just stick with my own custom build parks? Right, over here I want a pack. Pack, 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 city pack. There we go. I want a small main entrance. Pack side gate, small pack main entrance, just there. And a pack side entrance over here. And we can stick a bit in there. Oh, 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 I think we can just, I think we can just fit it in there without breaking anyone's uh, house. All right. That was very nice. Okay, <clears throat> let's um, footpaths, 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 footpaths. I don't like the ones with trees on because I already build things with trees. Put you straight to there and then curve it into our uh, end gate over here. Boom. And you would go then straight down there like that. It's just a straight through pack. There's nothing to do over here. So we just put down a couple of buildings. Uh, a pack restroom is always a good combination. But people need to pee. There we go. Uh, then we need a cafe. I mean, what kind of ca pack would it be if there wasn't a cafe, right? Right on the junction there. Boom. Money making. Uh, info booth. Uh, it's a small pack. You know what? Let's, I haven't put one of these down yet. Let's put down a uh, one of these little chessboard things for people. There's no water in this area, so that won't work. None of these are actual, but ooh. Let's stick some food stores over this side because we have the cafe on the other side, so. Oop, didn't mean to drop you there. Need to rotate you first. There we go. Put you there. And then put the vehicle one on this side. Swing you around, swing you around. And then the van. Um, the van I'm actually going to pack off at an angle because I think it looks nicer. I mean, it, looks like but it looks like they've sort of pulled in and then stopped. Reverse it maybe like that. There we go. And yes, you can have a sandpit over here as well because the other one's got a, uh, a chest pod, right? There you go. No cannons for you though. I don't. I don't trust anyone with cannons in the RJ area. Uh, ooh, what's that? A pack plaza. Hmm. Can't really place it without breaking anything down, so you don't get a plaza. Ba, 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 ba. That'll do. There we go. You have a pack now. Uh, so people should walk through here as well because there we go. Look, people should walk through because it's uh, it's a nice way to get from one place to another without having to go around the roads. There we go. And that should have also upgraded some houses and increased land value. Look at that land value already increasing quite nicely. Perfect. I like how the, uh, the community school over here has got a lower land value though. <laughs> okay, we can probably increase the land value of this. We just need it to upgrade a little bit and we can get some of the bigger buildings in there. And I'll put, maybe put a side road on there and build a few things. We'll, we'll see as we get there. And also the train station is not helping with the land value. Anywho, let's go back to there. Power is going to be an issue very shortly, so let's drop down a few more of these power poles while we can. Uh, we got some money in the back. Let's uh, do all this area, actually. Green, 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 going green, 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 green. We're spinning and going green, green. This should hopefully get us power stable for quite some time. I don't want to go down the hill too far. We're at 5 megawatts if we go down any lower. And we want to be doing uh, 6 if we can. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do when we uh, 
We run out of land up here. Because we are getting to that point where uh, we're out of land here. We'll buy this land and then we'll have this piece of land. We can build okay, we can we can build this way as well. That's not a big issue. Um, we've got this piece here, we've got this piece over here. We've got so we've got bits of land around that we can use. But uh, we're going to want to build in some of these lands as well, that's a thing. Um, so we need to look at getting some better power generation up and running soon. When we have the solar power plant, they do produce a fair amount of power. Um, we have the geothermal plant, and they produce... Where's your power output? 80 megawatts. Meh. 160, okay. And then these guys produce 240. Okay, we have, we have better. I don't actually like these too much. They, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, they would work amazing. But uh, they, they look so tall. I was saying that. They're, yeah, they're, yeah, they look so like, out of the way. I'm sure we'll, we'll forget. We'll build some better power generations shortly. I just want this hill to be the Windy Hills. So there we go. We have Windy Hills. Are even more windy than normal. All right. Well, let me know what you think of the changes I've made, especially around this road and these two cargo tunnels, since that was pretty much the focus of the episode. Um, let me know what you think. And uh, I think it's working out quite well if you look at the amount of vehicles using this now. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of the of the changes we've made and if you think we can make any more improvements. And uh, my lord, I know you mentioned using a car parking mod. I don't think I have a car parking mod installed. So if you can suggest one, if anyone can suggest a, a mod for car parks, that would be kind of cool because right now everyone's using the roads, which is fine. And I have the road the mode set so the parking is more realistic, so people will park on when they need to park. So we should be looking at putting actual car parks in place, and we just uh, don't really have any right now. A lot of people. Anyway, let me know what you think, and uh, I will do it next time. Comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all then. Bye! Ooh, that bridge is a very sharp turn, isn't it? Ooh. Let's, uh... There we go. That's much nicer. Bye!